Ooh, someone left melted cheese all over the ground! Patrick, I think that's hot lava. Well, I lava me some cheese. I don't think that's hot lava. I think that's what happens when you don't have enough water in your system and you go- Anyways. That's weird. Hey, man. Oh, or hey, lady. There you are. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, Good noodle stars, zero of five collected. There's a lot of this little stuff around here. So it's going to be one of those situations. Once everything is unlocked, I'll give these a shot and see if it's worth to do. But yeah, going through here right now, I can try doing one of these and see what happens. My name is Brian Saviano. Bobby O'Br... What on earth are you? Oh no! Sea bears! Quick, draw a circle around yourself. What? I have never seen these things ever before. What? Why are you licking your lips? What do I do? Draw a circle? Do I go in a circle? No. That thing just looked right at me. Uh... I don't know what to do. I'll leave it for now. SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmic Shake continues. My name is Brian Saviano. Bricks O'Brien as this cap in states right here. You see that cap? You see the logo underneath my face? I don't know if they're your favorite, but they're at least two people, man. So we're going after Squidward in this episode. So the last world was half the length of the previous ones. Now, I'm curious if this is going to be the trend going forward. Petgar, Manaka. Hmm? Huh? Spongebob. No blah blah? Unger. Huh? Huh? Gotta rescue Squidward, so basically they have uh, no capacity to speak English, which is kind of me half the time anyways. So, it's fine. Navigating the bones, navigating whatever else is going on. I, like I said in the previous episode, was very tempted. I, I, you know, actually, I, sh I should talk about the game. I should talk about the game and everything the game is about, right? SpongeBob, my history with SpongeBob, but I already, I already talked about that. Listen, I want to go, I want to go get some chicken nuggets. I want to go, oh, the bears, the bears, okay. I want to go- little crabs? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. No, get back on track, thank you. What? What? That crab just said like- I get it, I get it, money, money, money. Do you hear that? Oh, no. They're speaking like minions. That's it. I want to go and get some honey mustard chicken tenders. That's what I want to do. I was tempted to go yesterday and get some chicken parm with fusilli, but then that's the day that I had. I I did a I did a boo boo yesterday. Remember? It? <laughs> so oh, I'm doing a grand slam. Hold on, just like at Denny's. So it's a double. And then that, right? Yeah, it totally is. Okay, that's fine. One, two, bam. There we go. Same, you know, you could have figured that was going to happen eventually. So you know how the other day, when I first started this series, uh, episode two, I had the entire bag of jacks? I'm going to let this do the... Ooh, you look kind of cool. Look at your little arms. You wee little arms. You look like... Well, how do I defeat you, actually? Oh, here? Oh, that's how you summon the. Okay, yeah. That's fine. One, two. Done. There we go. Oh, this is easy. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. I thought you were going to be way more difficult. Like, I had to go jump up and do a bunch of stuff. But, yeah, not even not even remotely close. So, you know how I had that entire bag of Jack's cheese curls in, like, like one day? So, that same day. This is bad. This is real bad. I, I wrote a book on how to be a healthy gamer. Remember that, right? So, I also got a, 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 uh, not a carton, 
I mean, technically it's a carton. A pint? No. Big, what's, a, what's bigger than a pint but not a gallon? A quart? A quart. Wow. I know measurements. I got a quart of ice cream. Right? It was a caramel swirl. Tama Tamuk. I don't know if that was a brand, whatever brand it was. I got that. I ate the entire thing. I just failed super hardcore there. I ate the entire thing in two days. So this is why, see, so here's the dilemma. When you get older and you don't have parental supervision, right? You're, I'm in this office for the most part alone. Like seven days a week, right? I don't, I don't got, I don't got Mima, right? Mima isn't on the side, being like, "Oh, you should really be eating your vegetables," right? Not, none of that. In these trying times, right? In this state of the economy, you could be eating vegetables, and you know what? You should. But when you're left with no parental supervision, you just kind of do whatever you want. And so sometimes it does end up being the case where you eat an entire. Uh, a quart of ice cream, pint, gallon, whatever. What did I say before? Pint, a, a carton, thing, whatever. You eat the whole thing in two days, okay? There's nobody can, There's nobody to say no. And then you might say, oh, Brian, well then just don't go and get the ice cream in the, in the quart, in the whatever. Don't, don't, just don't do it. That's not smart, right? But then what happens is then I go out less often, but still often enough, and I go get like Ben and Jerry's. You might say, well, Brian, that's, you know, that's all well and good. That's also not healthy for you, but it happens more frequently. So the idea, and my mother's the same way. My mother's the same exact way. It's like, if it's in the house, it's gonna get eaten and it's gonna get eaten very, very quickly. There's no two ways around it. So it's either it stays in the house and it gets eaten immediately or just never enters the house in general. So. I should just not get this stuff. I should just leave it there. And then on the rare occasion that I do want to get a pint of Ben and Jerry's or whatever, I don't understand what your deal is, Bears. I know you're bad at football, but whatever. But on the rare occasion I want to go out and get Ben and Jerry's, I should just go do it. It's going to be more expensive, yes. But it's better off than me going out and buying a whole thing of ice cream and then eating it in two days. And then that's way too many calories, obviously. And I should be doing that, right? So to better pace myself, I should just leave it so uh, I, I eat the ice cream in less chunks? I don't know. I don't know. But, like, that's just how I am, right? Oh, but Brian, you should just control yourself and not eat the ice cream in two days. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So one of these two realities is going to happen. So I should just leave it out. Don't bother getting ice cream. Or... I should get, I, you know what I should, got last time? I got a, um, I got ice cream sandwiches that were, like, co like not controlled portion sizes, but you know, obviously ice cream sandwiches are, like, individually wrapped, right? So I got those, and those actually worked out pretty well, and they were, like, a lower fat sort of thing. So I should have just done that. A little bit of the ungy bungy. I guess just work acquaintances here. How to rolling rock. Okay, so I'm gonna... I guess just roll on the rock and then disembark. You got it. Okay. Can I control where I'm going? Yes, I can. That's kind of sweet. So obviously this downward momentum is gonna pull me fairly far. I don't necessarily want that. I should have gone up on top of there. Probably get a couple extra tiki there. But yeah, you don't necessarily have to do that either. So, yep. Ooh, that was a little glitchy, you see that? That was a little finagly there. Give me a little boost right here. No, just kidding. I had to jump, and luckily I did right in the nick of time. That's a gargantuan whale. That's a big whale. Big whale tail energy. Okay. So it's going to take some electric shocks to get this guy rocking and rolling here. Uh... Something with the jellyfish to get the thing rolling. Catch jellyfish to wake this. Okay. 
You mean destroy the jellyfish? Because that's what's happening here, man. I'm totally just hitting them with the bubble net here, not doing anything else. But, I mean, I'm going on a roll here. So, whatever. This kind of reminds me of Jack and Daxter, actually. I don't know why. Going around this main area, catching all these jellyfish reminds me of the, the green... Uh, like the green greens kind of area. There we go. I got to disembark occasionally to make this sort of thing happen. There we go. Back into here. Do this. One. And hit him with the two. Beautiful. This way. Bam. Might as well make it happen. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I forgot. I can't actually uh, do that to the jellyfish. Yes. Ooh, okay. There we go. Oh, and they can eventually get back together. Those two little guys over there. Yeah, definitely don't want that. Nope. Going to the lava. Bye. See you later. Ooh, yeah, you're taking the life force out of me. Don't want that. And this? Wonderful. So, yeah, I ate the whole thing of ice cream in two days. So, it has to just stay out of the house. It has to stay out of the house, the office, the everywhere. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a bad time. So, I got it. I got it thinking that I could control myself, and I just can't. And, you know, you again, you could say, like, Brian, you should just learn to control yourself better. But also, part of this is that I know... That I can't control myself with this giant carton of ice cream. So, I'm just not going to do it. You know? Back to the beginning? No, just right there. It's spicy. Cool. So, that's what I did. So, by no means have I earned or deserve or anything to get any of those uh, junky foods like that. You know? Definitely not in a position to go and get, like, the honey mustard chicken tenders that I also want. You know? Just to move the tail? And it puts me right back over here. Cool. Okay. I guess this is a way I can go over here. But, yeah. That's what I was doing for the past couple days. It was not great, which is probably what... It did not contribute to my overall mood. So I should have just been, you know, more aware that, like, yeah, you know what? You eating an entire gallon of ice cream... Not a gallon. It was a, a quart. A quart of ice cream in a day was not smart. Not a pro gamer move by any means. Ooh, I thought I could get the momentum on there, but clearly I did not. So that's fine. Mysterious cave ahoy. Lighting my way. Shining into the night. Uh-oh. Tongue time. That's something you probably didn't expect to hear in a SpongeBob playthrough. Tongue time. So, I mean, I'm not wrong. Not wrong at all. And I'm uh, narrowly avoiding every sense of elimination here. Give me this. Thank you. Ooh, I can do the double jump here. What's this? Ooh, if I hit those things, I know that they'll destroy me. I remember that from uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Which, that would be cool if they remade that. They're definitely not going to do it, though. Da bears. Da bears. Da bears. Ya bear. Ma bear. Ra bear. Ru da bear. It's a big bear. I didn't even uh, remember that Saturday Night Live skit. It just kind of is a part of my awareness of what the bears are. Not a big football guy overall, except for seeing the Patriots when they are around, you know. But ever since that uh, Tom Brady got switched over to that Tampa Bay, and now he's retiring for the 15th time, it really don't matter. Not in my opinion anyway. So that it's a, it's a reference to a skit from what, the 80s or 90s or something? with bears and whatnot. The Chicago Bears are a very bad uh, football team, by the way. Whoa, that was a low frame rate on those. That was a very low frame rate on the lava plumes there. So that's what I'm referencing when I'm saying that, in case you have no idea, which you probably don't, considering I don't even know what it really is. Most of the people watching this have no clue what that is either. So that's fine. Pretty in-depth uh, tongue level here. Sweet, avoid that. I mean, it's not very difficult to navigate through the stalactites or mites or whatever. I still don't know which one is which. Don't think I've had any idea what those are for a long time. I could have went over there and probably got myself another coin. Whoops. Ooh, that's bad. Here we go. More, One more bear. I want to see what episode of SpongeBob that's from, man. You good? Yeah, you are. Totally good giant fish creatures hanging around here. That actually looks like a dolphin. That's definitely a little uh, itty bitty dolphin hanging around that just got happened to be stuck in the wall. Reminds me there is uh, something like that at Super Nintendo World as a matter of fact. A uh, like a fish thing in the corner 
as you're uh, racing through the Mario Kart level. And that thing happens occasionally. There we go. Ooh, nicely avoiding that lava there. Yeah, at some point there's like a bone fin when you're navigating through Mario Kart. It's like, not in a lava-centric level, but it's in some sort of... I forget what the context is, but not that I've been there. I certainly have not been. Uh-oh, that's bad. That's definitely bad. I totally missed my opportunity to do the thing here. Where am I going? Oh, you totally pointed me in the wrong direction, game. But that's okay. One, and let it float there. There we go. So again, something I want to do eventually, go to Super Nintendo World, hang around there for a little bit. But yeah, it is a boatload of money, which I'm sure most of you can understand. So at some point, I would love to cover that on my all the platforms across the multiverse. Mr. O Bricks O'Brien goes to Super Nintendo World, but we'll, we'll see. Doing that Mario Kart ride, I've heard is actually uh, kind of not con controversial is not the right word, but just not what people were expecting. It being very digitally based, not a lot of in real life things for you to look at as you're on the ride and, and that it's rather slow for a Mario Kart ride which is kind of surprising considering it's a Mario Kart ride people are like man it's slow I don't really understand what that's all about it probably is meant to feel slow because you're on this cart that isn't necessarily on an open track or anything right it's just kind of is what it is you know I pretty sure I have to defeat these enemies here it's probably it one two Ooh, I got the double on there over here. Ooh, you want to come down here? There we go. Nice. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. One, two. There we go. Well, I got like a triple right there. Beautiful. One, two, three. Summon the. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Right here. Ooh, did I get him? One, two, three. Yeah. Ooh, you nearly got me there. No sorry. Nice. And I didn't manage to faint there. That's a quadruple win overall. Anybody else? Yeah, some guys left over here. That's fine too. One, two. Good? Yes. Done. So, yeah. I haven't really done anything else today. I've been hanging around trying to make sure that I feel as good as I can to make videos and do whatever else. Probably tonight I will... Take it easy, man. Sometimes you just gotta relax a little bit and not do a thousand things all the time. And that's another focus of what I've been doing, trying to get back into making more videos and less of all these random projects and things that I want to do. A lot of my time doing this is spent obviously doing videos or podcasts or whatever else, but then planning for the future, cool things that I want to bring to life and see if people are willing to support by whatever means of the internet, you know? And so that's obviously a big a big focus of what I want to do. Is there anything, a reward up here? No, there's literally nothing up there. It was just designed to throw me off the, the ledge, which is great. So yeah, I've been trying to do a little bit less of looking, you know, a year into the future occasionally and look a little bit more into, you know, two months into the future. What do I want my life goals and aspirations and things to be, you know? Is it me playing you know, Mario Kart every single day for the rest of my life, or something else I can do, you know? Me to bunga. <laughs> More tongue? Okay. I want to see those Mr. Krabs creatures. I mean, Mr. Krabs are- Oh! There's like a- they're, they're like going together. You see the drawings on the wall over there? They're like going and, and doing- it's like a little storyline. They're following each other. I'm more entertained by that than what's going on with all these bones and stuff here. Uh-oh. Okay. You know what I also didn't realize? I was watching some video. I forget where. But, oh, wait. He's eating her? Hold on. Wait a second. Did you see that on the- on the wall over here? I know- I know you're supposed to be watching my face and what I'm doing here. Oh, and then they're in love! Okay. Okay, so he bit her, but they're in love, so that's okay. Hey, Squidward. Is this your house? Maybe. Solve the puzzle. 
Ooh, okay, so clearly it's supposed to be everything you see up on the wall over here. Um, but you can actually tell when it's okay, because it'll link up as it's supposed to here. Oh, there's an order. You see it on the wall over here? And what's going on with these things over here? Yeah, you can totally tell where things are supposed to be. Yeah, there we go. Okay. See, I'm a smart cookie. Look at that. All right, so star... Nope, you're supposed to go over here. You go back. Yes, okay, and they're supposed to go on these platforms back over toward this way. I see what we're supposed to do. Heart goes last, but I can go over here for now. Yup. It's just a matter of shifting it all into where it's supposed to be, man. Right over here, right over here. There we go. And again, you can hear it because it's like a little chime when that happens. One, two, 32. There it is. Okay, heart goes last, which it does be like that sometimes, man. In life, the heart must go last for a minute before you can rekindle and bring back to life the things that you want to. Just like that, puzzle riddle is solved. Uh, Pearl is the queen of the jellyfish until Squidward falls out of the sky and then Pearl eats Squidward. And there we are. That's terrifying. Uh oh. Now got my laga palenga. Unga, not coral sponge car. Uh oh. I don't know what just happened. Oh, a pearl boss battle. Whoa. Okay. So where was this for the first four levels of the game? Where was this? Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's definitely going to involve the teeth. A little bit of the teeth over here. Yeah, where were these, man? The entire time? That would have been really cool. Oh, and I gotta defeat the enemies first. Of course I do. See, these are cool. So maybe, you know why? Because these levels are a little bit shorter, which is okay, but they have the boss battles to compensate for it. I get what the developers are doing. That makes sense. Summon these bad Larrys up. Can I do this? No, definitely cannot. I gotta shake it with the thing. Here we go. Ooh, that worked out flawlessly. Beautiful. Squiggy, meet me squiggy, no squiggy. Okay, whatever, Pearl. Are these things not affecting? Me? Oh, they totally are. Wow, okay. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way they are. Oh, I gotta redo all of them all over again? Let me just take care of these again. My apologies. Uh-oh. Ooh. Gonna swing from the chandelier here. From the chandelier here. Ear. Okay, those things in the front don't do anything. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yep. Big Mama Pearl doing her thing. Right in between. There it is. Okay, two different types of things going on here. Yes, Patrick. You can drop it now. Oh, water. No water. Yep, that's bad. Right in between. Oh, this is spicy. That's a spicy little battle right there. Wow. Okay. Ooh, toward the middle there? That, this is kind of cool. Yep, one. Come on. Stay right there. Just wait right there. Come on. No, I can't die here. Nope. Again, very spicy. Semi-difficult boss battle. Not going to lie to you, man. Ah, man. Ah, no, I was going to grab it right there, dude. Really? Uh, at least it starts me right there. That's good. You know what I didn't realize about any of these boss battles? There's Pearl's health in the bottom left-hand corner. I was too distracted on these giant plumes of lava and her sobbing her brains out. That I had no idea that was even a thing in the bottom left. I wasn't even blocking it with my giant head. It was just existing. That's all it was, man. All it was down there. This is really difficult to avoid. The, the tears right there, that's super difficult to avoid. Uh-huh. Stay right there. There's a tooth right under here. 
what was firing at me. I saw, I saw, I thought I saw something firing at me there, but nah, we're good. That should also absolutely take Pearl down in every way. Does that damage them? No, it doesn't. Okay, so they are immune to the tears and the lava. They are not having any of it at all. Okay. Stay within the plumes. You're good. Wow. It seemed like it moved with me. Or is that just kind of me being bad at games? It's probably a little bit of both. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. Patrick. Patrick, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Hey, man. C come on. Right here, man. Meow, meow. Literally. Come on. Back over here. Go. Go. Kind of difficult. Low key. There we go. Telafu! Uh oh. No, no. Okay, good. No moron moron for me. Again, yeah, a rather short level, so that's something that I've seen in a bunch of other games before. They're like, hey, you know, we're gonna make it more condensed, but then have a boss battle, have a cool thing for you to do here and there, you know? And now some of the goo is gone. Which means I can explore a little bit more. So, it still looks kind of funky over there, but... Squidward's house is back to normal. That's sweet. Sandy... Sussy Bunga? Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Hmm. Gaga. Hmm. Looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madame Cassandra will help us get it back. Will she, or will she keep being a problem? My favorite sponge lackey has returned. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea. Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh, boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. A new costume? I'm a jester. I'm a, a bit of a funny bunny, as it were. Using my nose as a flute. Okay. So, I guess I gotta locate uh, Squidward's vocabulary somewhere around here. What's this? Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. Locate Gary's book stash near SpongeBob's pineapple. Oh, I gotta search for dictionaries. That's a little thing I gotta do. And then I gotta search for hot objects. Hot and spicy objects are also on the menu. Sweet! Where do I go next? Mini dictionaries? I should go ask Gary, right? That should be what I do. Oh, right here. Two. Wow, I can't believe I was looking around all Bikini Bottom and I couldn't quite find where it was. There we go. I thought I had to look all the way around and find stuff. Okay, that's fine. This book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. <sighs> all right, find the new portal. That's the next objective. Let me toss myself onto this horse over here. Might as well, man. This is uh, pretty cool that I can use this to navigate here pretty uh, way more easily. It looks like a medieval section, I could have guessed, by me being a jester. But well, luckily, I'll tackle that in the next episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmic Shake. I'll see you next time for more SpongeBob Balloon Patrick and whatever else I decide to binge eat, because why not, all right? Bye.